A Testament Against the World The Lord's Rebuke Blood Pours Down February 14, 2011 From the Lord our God and Savior The Lord's words given to Timothy During an online fellowship For the Lord's little flock And for all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord Blood pours down a waterfall of tears flow down. Rivers of tears and blood run through the desolate places. Yet no growth is seen. Nothing at all sprouts forth from the hard and cracked ground. The sound of the Karadrium is not heard. Neither do the doves come out of their hiding places in the morning. No song is heard. Blood pours down to cover the mountains. Blood pours down and tears cover the land. Blood and tears fall upon the parched ground. Yet only dust and ashes remain. The earth cries out in the morning. And the people mourn at eventide. From dusk until the dawn, the bodies are piled up in heaps. The whole world loves violence, and over all this murder, barely a tear is shed. The voice of weeping and lamentation is rarely heard above a whisper. And the cries of every unborn child is muffled by the sound of their mother's dying womb. As her heart becomes stone, the light of her eyes darkening her life forfeit. Mankind is covered in wickedness. The breath of the whole earth is filled with every kind of evil. Every tree is dry and bears bitter fruit. For the heart of man is black, the void within him deep, a widening chasm filled with deep darkness, sheer cliffs on every side. Every branch withers, no more will leaves appear. Dry and dead branches, ready to be broken off and cast into the fire. The heart of the Lord your God is very heavy. The heart of the Lord is enraged and is very heavy. The sorrow of the Lord is deep and infinite. My people, let it be known to you, I take no pleasure at all in what I must do, in what must be done. No pleasure at all, says the Lord. As my hand draws back, blood pours down. As I strike the earth in my anger, my tears run down as famine spreads forth across the land. My heart is rent inside me over the hardness of men's hearts. As my face fills with the heat of my fury, my eyes are set ablaze with fire over that which I see. My tears run down. My blood pours down. As my own servants turn from me and run, as my own beloved, whom I have called sons and daughters, turn and fight against me, as my own body betrays me, my blood pours down, my tears run down. As the nations come together and bind my hands and my feet, my tears run down. As they bruise me and spit in my eyes while mocking me, my tears run down. As they pierce my side, my blood and tears run down together. As my own people drive in the nails still, I am risen up from my place with my arms spread apart, waiting to receive them. My blood 
runs down. The tears run down. Oh, my people! Why have you forsaken me? Hard generation, sleeping children. Even my own fall asleep, unable to watch with me for one hour. Their hearts hardened, unwilling to weep with me in this last hour. Do you not understand my sorrows, little flock? They refuse to be healed. Therefore, I must destroy them. My blood runs down, and they refuse it. My tears fall like rain upon the nations. Yet they will not lift their head, nor do they hold out their tongue to drink it. Where have all my children gone? They choose death. They choose death. And at the last day, they shall surely receive it. They shall taste of it to the fullest. Therefore, do my tears run down? Therefore, do the rivers run like death through the waste places? Beloved, they heap up death only to throw themselves upon the heap. Lo, they have made their covenant with death, and with the grave they are in agreement. They burn candles and make sacrifices to other gods. Yea, they bow down to them. Behold, they shall be slaughtered and burned together. The whole field is diseased. Every leaf is blighted and withers. Every stalk is rotten, even to the roots. It must be purged and burned with fire. Therefore do my tears run down. Therefore does my sorrow continue on forever. The wound is incurable. Therefore my love will weep and my heart will wail forever. Have you not read my words, little flock? Are your ears yet dull in hearing? Yet my words shall not return void. For the beasts of the earth languish, and the creatures of flight fail to soar, for they know what is coming. Lo, I have nourished and brought forth young children to weep in your places, for you were unwilling. And still the mighty stand proud, and the feeble follow close behind in their example, refusing to bow down covering themselves in pretense while wearing many disguises until the face they behold in the mirror has become unrecognizable to them. They do not know me. My blood runs down, yet I do not know them. My tears run down, yet my own people remain unclean hiding always in their deceitful houses. From the least to the greatest, I tell you, they have surely hated me. Therefore I am come down to take my spoil, to purge and to slaughter. Blood and fire, rivers of blood and pillars of smoke. This world is condemned and the Father has declared its end. I am come down, says the Lord. <laughs>